The hippie movement. This made a very youthful nation that in many ways confronted the American culture and political movements like the civil rights movement, the new left, and non-political movements as the hippies. The baby boomers in many ways revolutionized society. Strong materialism, people started moving out of cramped cities to raise their kids in the suburbs. Ads started popping up more, promoting better life. Very strict morals. A big strict moral would be sex that was prohibited before marriage. Race, racial segregation would be a big topic in the 1950s. This is when the Civil War movement happened and Martin Luther King Jr. was the leader of the movement. Support to wars. Women finally started working like men to help the war to make bullets and black people could fight. The Generation Beat was a group of writers that influenced a lot the early hippies with the book's content. They talked about rejecting to materialism, experimentation of drugs, and sexual freedom. In On the Road, Jack Kerouac talked talk about how he traveled around the USA without a fixed job, using drugs, and other experiences. Hippies were outspoken in their views and defined by their motivation. The origins of the hippie culture began in San Francisco. They encouraged a better relationship with nature by starting in organic farms and producing natural goods. The hippie, hippie movement development was very slow, without a specific beginning, but it had some key influences, as the generation books and Wavy Gravy Colorful Bus and Fight Against the Vietnam War. The Wavy Gravy was a hippie activist that, with his bus called Hog Farm Collection, traveled around the country doing protests against war. The first big hippie festival started in the summer of 1967, known as the Summer of Love. All You Need Is Love is the Beatles song, which the Beatles which the hippies liked very much during war and hippie response. That was the response the hippies had. The hippies wanted love, not war. They wanted peace, not war. They wanted to show the U.S. they could have a war with no violence. Mm, turn around, turn in, drop out. Active your narrow and genetic self. Be more sensitive to various levels of the specific triggers and conscien consciousness that engage them, interact ar harmoniously with the wor world around you, self-reliance, a discovery of one singularity, a community to mobility, choice, and change. Timothy Larry, Larry, a Harvard professor and counterculture philosopher, made this quote. Explain what turned on and <laughs> the hippies had a lot of views on the new left movement. They felt like the American society had grown hollow through the mid-1960s. Tens of thousands, thousands of idealist youths left school, wor work, or home to create what they would hope to be an idyllic community of peace and love and harmony over. Marijuana. In 1972, studies showed that 60% of Americans thought that marijuana was physically addictive. Research has shown that it's not physically addictive because regular users rarely show physical withdrawals or symptoms. LSD. The goals of Leary's research better methods of treating alcoholism and reform of convicted criminals. One major effect of LSD trip is the flashback. A sudden and unexpected re-experience of some portion of an earlier trip or weeks ago, even months afterward, Studies shown in 1967 only 11 cases of flashbacks were reported in the, the medical books. By 1969, studies also shown that an, an, an estimated that uh, one out of every 20 hippies who used LSD suffered flashbacks of some kind. The Beach Boys, The Beatles, Bob Dylan, The Who, Jimi Hendrix, and The Rolling Stones. During the 1960s, do your own things became a common expression. It meant to do whatever you wanted without feeling guilty. Their songs were about opposing ideas influenced by sexual revolution and feminism. In the 1969, Woodstock was a popular culture event for peace and music. Acts from all around the world like Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, Joe Cocker, Santana, and The Who. What began as a paid event drew so many views that the fences were torn down and it became free. The crowd at Woodstock's, Woodstock would reach near a half of a million, sent out the message that they can all come together peacefully as individuals to celebrate peace in music.
As the hip movement went on, the negative sides of it became more visible. The drug use, high gun employment rates, and sometimes violence started to become too big to be ignored. The conservatives started to attack the hippies, saying that the hip movement was wicked and that we should go back to more Christian values.